Now here we are with some of the components for the next BSA A65, uh, bottom end only, and here's the time inside bush assembly. Now I say assembly because it's actually three pieces there. There's the bush itself which presses into the housing, which can often be mistaken to be one assembly or one thing. So you press the bush in. Now obviously I've taken great care to line the oil holes up and whatever. Um, the third piece, whether the camera will pick it up, it's difficult to see, is a little peg, a little locating peg there, which is just a little bit of insurance, extra security to make sure that the bush itself can't creep or spin in the housing. It shouldn't do because it's quite a firm and tight press fit in there, but if the worst happened and it did happen to spin inside the steel housing then the oil holes would be closed off and that would be the end of the engine uh, in no time at all so I've also got that little locating peg in there to lock it in place to stop it rotating if it were to try and do so so this bush is a standard bush standard size and the journal on the crank is a slightly worn standard size but the uh, standard size bushes as they come, if you had a perfect um, time inside journal on standard size, it wouldn't fit in the bush until the bush is uh, honed or reamed out. What we're going to do in this case, I've spoken to my regrind guy and what I'm going to do, I'm going to fit this assembly. Obviously it won't fit on the standard journal even though the standard journal is worn. and That's, that's good, that's what we want. And what he's going to do is check and ensure that the uh, the bush itself is true and round once it's fitted and if necessary he can take remedial action there and maybe hone it in situ if it needs it but if it turns out to be perfectly round which is what we're hoping he'll grind the crankshaft journal down to give just a one thou clearance when it's fitted inside the bush once the bush is inside the crankcase. Now obviously this assembly has got about a 2000 interference fit itself. I'm going to warm the crankcase up and I'll probably still have to press it or drive it in to some degree. So when it's fitted and cool it'll have contracted or be sort of forced into a very slightly smaller diameter than what it is now. So it's very important to have that fitted and know that it's true, get the measurements, which is what uh, John will be doing at his uh, regrind and reboring place. And then uh, he'll grind the crank journal to suit and give the one thou clearance that we want. Now, it's on standard. This is standard. We won't be going down to minus 10, because you can get minus 10s, you can get standards, minus 10s, 20s, 30s. We might end up with perhaps minus three or minus four, whatever it takes. But with this trued up or known to be true, he'll grind the crank journal to suit what we've got. And whatever that ends up at, somewhere between standard and minus 10, whatever it might come out at, is fine. There's no need to go down in steps of minus 10 as it happens. And that's uh, the way we'll be tackling it here between us. So uh, I'm gonna get the crankcase warmed up next get this fitted and then it'll be over to John to do the rest and get this uh, reground. He's already confirmed that the journals are on standard size for the big ends and they're okay so um, we're making some decent progress. Hopefully we'll have a bit more on this before too long. <laughs> 